Rob Mallard, who plays Daniel, is here now. Rob, your character is going through a lot of drama right now, as we've yeah. just seen. Mm -hmm. A hell of a lot of drama. Awful lot of drama at the moment. Yeah, fun it's been to like play, that. though, right? Oh, a lot of fun to play, yeah. But it's been like that since we first started, both me and uh, Sam, when we came back. Hit so the your character running. just came in with a bang? Yeah, yeah. Literally came into the hospital, a bit sinister, wasn't quite sure what was happening, and then immediately and integrated with the Barlows. And he's got big decisions to make at the moment, has Daniel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. he's got to decide between basically the life that's presented itself to him and the life that he'd always planned for himself, which mm. was always academic. So he's having to weigh the two up now, yeah. And it's been a bit of a whirlwind romance for him and Sinead, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's been very quick. It's been very, very quick. But I, I think you often see that with people well. that haven't much had much experience there. You often fall in love with you first. Yeah. Usually. And from Sinead's perspective, she's been stuck in a rutted relationship yeah, for a while. So yeah. it's, when they've met each other, they have gone very, very quickly. And Daniel really doesn't know what to do at this point, does he? No. There's still a lot of confusion around everything. Yeah. And pressures from Ken as well. Yes, because Ken sees so much of himself in Daniel. Mm. And as a way of almost making up for his own mistakes, he's trying to do that through his son. Yeah, absolutely. And let's have a look at a picture of you and Ken Barlow, because a lot of people have said, what wonderful casting. You actually look just like father and son. <laughs> look at that. A young, dashing Ken Barlow. With his son, Daniel. Yeah, he wouldn't wear salmon pink, though. I like your salmon pink shirt. I like the salmon pink as well. I'm down with that. <laughs> That's really lovely. And how is it working with Ken Bollock? Because I know that you've been a, a lifelong fan of Coronation yes. Street. Yeah, I've watched Coronation Street since since I was very little. I think in the same way that most people do, it was grandparents that introduced me to it. Mm -hmm. um, so working with Bill is brilliant. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. I was quite intimidated. But immediately diffuses everything. There's nothing, no diva, no, no... You're aware that he's a star, but he doesn't carry any of that yeah. with him onto the set, so it's completely just like talking to... So I'm wondering what it must be like when you walk on set for that first time and you're, you're sort of stepping into the TV almost. Yeah, basically. Completely um, bizarre. I thought, I for some reason felt very big on the set. I thought, kept thinking I was going to bump into things, because yeah. it is it's quite Smaller a Smaller than you set. imagine. Yeah, but... Um, it's a, it's a set that most people recognise as well, mm. so yeah, it was intimidated. And I auditioned on that set as well, so I'd Did had a you? little bit of an experience with it before we actually started filming. Now, I know that your nan, as you said, is a big fan, and you actually took her down to the set, did. didn't you? Yes, I did. I got How her down that? there, finally. It was brilliant. It oh, was... look, there she is. Oh. <laughs> with Ken. She, uh, she turned into a little girl, actually. She started blushing. Yeah, she did. And he started <laughs> leaning in as well. It was uh, interesting <laughs> to watch. Um, it was brilliant for me to see to be able to do that for her, mm. because she'd always been a massive supporter and pushing me and saying, you'll get there, That's you'll do so it, lovely. you'll get there. So then I was just kind of a couple of paces behind the entire thing, just kind of enjoying her seeing everything. Yeah, yeah. that's such a magical moment. Yeah, really it was lovely. And Coronation Street isn't the first soap you've appeared in. No, no. Briefly in Emmerdale last year, yeah, for three episodes, where I came in and uh, swindled Jumbo out of five grand. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. And then off to Coronation Street you go. And then a year later, yeah, I stepped onto the cobbles, yeah. Because you've only been in Coronation Street since November. Do you yes. feel part of the family already? Is everyone quite welcoming when you kind of join that cast? I do, yeah. I, they did that, yeah, yeah. they did that. Um, Chris would take me out, Chris who plays Peter, he took me out for drinks. Um, Kate Ford is incredibly open and, and friendly and personable and, and Bill's Bill, so it was just... Brilliant. That's so lovely. Yeah. So you've got friends for life there now. I hope so. Yeah. I certainly hope so, yeah. Can you see yourself staying in it for a long time? I guess you don't know, because well, the that... writers do their own thing, don't Yeah, they? exactly. You... The writers I'm do sure their own writers. thing. I'm... I'm perfectly happy to be where I am for now. And I'm enjoying everything that's coming with it, that's the thing. So, you, like you say, you can't actually project that far ahead because you don't know what's going to happen, like you're saying, with the writers and, yeah. and stuff like that. But, yeah, yeah, I'm game. Just don't annoy those writers. Yeah, think, well, you Rob. know, I keep <laughs> taking them to the pub every now and exactly. again. Exactly. <laughs> and is it strange when you're out and about people now recognising you as Daniel? Yes, yes, it is. Um, especially after the fight with Chesney. I got a lot of scowls. Really, did people you? People take that seriously, yeah. yeah. But I thought he got his own back. He tackled me to the floor. Yeah. And, didn't see. I only got one hit. Hardcore in. Chesney fans out there. Yeah, a lot of hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Gingers for justice, basically. There you go. Well, look, thank you so much for coming on the show thank today, you for Rob. Me. Really lovely to meet you.